Hi, I'm Dave Forsyth and welcome to episode 5 of our video podcast series, Avid Tips and Techniques. The Avid Superbin feature came out in about 2001, but most editors still don't use it. To be truthful, when it first came out, I kind of thought of it as stupid bin rather than super bin because I never really understood it. But now that I am using it, it's hard to imagine working without it. But let's see how it works and how it can help you. The first thing you have to do is turn the feature on. So open the bin settings and click the checkbox called enable super bin and then hit OK. Now, nothing really happens straight away, but watch this. It's the first big advantage of the Super Bin feature. If I click once on a bin icon in the project window, the bin opens in a new window called Super Bin. Now, notice how the name of the bin which I selected appears to the right of the word Super Bin. Now, the bin will still behave like it normally would, but here's the second big advantage of Super Bin. If I click once on another bin icon, then that bin will also open in the super bin. Now I'm going to open the rest of the bins in my project so you can see how this whole thing works. Now all the bins are open, whatever happened to that first bin? I can see by the bin icon in the project window that the bin is still open just like all the others, but I just can't see it. Well it is still open in the super bin. Let's see how we can get to it. In the top left hand corner of the super bin we find this icon. This is the super bin menu. The super bin menu contains a list of all of the bins which are currently open in the super bin. To get to a different bin, I click on the menu and select the bin I want. This makes switching from one bin to another really easy. With all my bins now open in the super bin, they only consume the space of one window. So if I'm working in a single monitor environment, such as on a laptop, the super bin becomes invaluable on that score alone. But I can also use a combination of super bin and regular bins. Let's take the birds bin for example, and I want to open up that bin in its own window. To do this, I need to double click its icon in the project window. The selected bin will then be taken out of the super bin. If I have a closed bin in the project window and I also want to open it in its own window and not in the super bin, again I double click it like that. Here's my sequences bin. But if I later decide to transfer an independent bin to the super bin, I can double click the icon in the project window again and it will transfer from its own window into the super bin. Well that's how you transfer bins to and from the super bin without having to close them first. But you might wonder why you would use a combination of super bin and regular bins in the first place. Well here's an example. So say you have a bunch of bins containing your raw material and a sequences bin. In this example I've got a sequences bin open as a separate window and I've opened up the birds and my other rushes bins in the super bin. If I'm finished with these bins, I can simply close the super bin. This will then dismiss all my raw material, but it will leave my sequences bin alone. You can also use this same principle to close all of your bins before ending the session. Using the super bin, I can even drag clips and other objects from one bin to another without even seeing the destination bin. In this example, I have a clip called Eastern Rosella which was accidentally placed in the other wildlife bin. Now I really need this clip to be in the birds bin. To do this, I can simply pick up the clip and drag it to the birds bin icon in the project window. If I now switch to the birds bin, I can see the Eastern Rosella clip is there. What you have seen in this presentation is taken from the MC201 Advanced Techniques for Avid Media Composer course. You can get more information on this course and our other course offerings at www.avap.com.au. And if you have any questions or comments, you can email me at dforsyth at ambertech.com.au. 
So that's the super bin. So easy to use and so useful. Until next time, I'm Dave Forsyth. Cheers for now.